So uh, obviously I've been a little busy. So what is going on guys? Um, I have not been on social media. I have not been doing much other than, well, building our zoo. Our last episode, we obviously cut down a lot of trees. I have to clean up those trees. So I rented an excavator and that's basically what I've been doing for the past week. Now I've still been going on social media and seeing everything is happening. Um, and I'm horrible at explaining this stuff. So I'm actually going to let my good buddy, Jeremy explain it. So Jeremy, take over. Okay, so here's the deal. Essentially, uh, US ARC is not opposing the Competes Act as a whole. We're opposing the section of the Competes Act that has this amendment to the Lacey Act. If this amendment was to go through, it would reverse US ARC's lawsuit and it would then make it illegal to transport uh, the top five constrictors and over 200 species of salamanders across state lines. That's a huge problem. The other problem is it gives US Fish and Wildlife the ability to make this whitelist and blacklist, what you can keep and what you can't keep and cross across the state lines. Um, the problem here is it with this amendment as it currently stands, US Fish and Wildlife could just say, hey, you know what, we don't wanna deal with this so let's stop it from being crossed uh, the state lines. You know, so let's say, you know, they figure out, oh, well, you know, we found, you know, five ball pythons in South Florida, you know, so apparently they can survive here and become invasive. We should ban ball pythons from being crossed uh, across state lines because we don't want them to become a problem anywhere else. And then there's no need for uh, due process. No public comments, no nothing. It's just all of a sudden, oh, can't cross them across state lines. That's a problem. Um, so it also would mean if you had one of these animals that was on this blacklist and your vet was across state lines, technically you could not bring it across state lines to your vet. That would be a crime. Uh, so there's, there's a lot of stuff that's wrong with this, you know, and it's being snuck in here after this lawsuit that was won by US ARC because it's the only potential way to get it into play because it's already been uh, ruled that U.S. Fish and Wildlife couldn't do what they were trying to do with this. So this is them trying to be sneaky. So right now, what we need to be doing is continuing to support U.S. ARC, right? There is a lot more information than what I'm talking about right now. This is just obviously a very short synopsis. So please go to usarc.org, look at the entire alert. It's a lot, but it's very, very, very important. We wanna be getting ready to email our uh, senators um, you know, getting as many people involved and just spreading the word. So sign up for the US ARC newsletter if you haven't already. It would be incredibly helpful. Uh, and just get get ready. You know, we're gonna be in this fight for, for a little bit uh, and we wanna stay as in tune as possible. So obviously US ARC, Kevin over at Nerd does a great job of, of keeping people up to date. Myself, I try to post a bunch of stuff on my social media. Uh, and you're going to start to see a bunch more uh, of the uh, the larger breeders uh, in the industry start talking about this um, because it, it affects everybody. This is not just big snakes, guys. This is everything. Anything that is exotic, uh, no, you know, that's that's not uh, domesticated like dogs or cats or domestic farm animals are potentially on the chopping block here. Uh, you know, it, there's no there's no limit, and that's the scariest part. So yeah, that's um, a very bad thing. So for all of my friends that are in the fish community, um, you know, it doesn't matter if you have parakeets or whatever, this is going to affect everybody. So it is very important that these matters are resolved. Now, something I've personally been pushing for is to support US ARC Florida, if you are here in Florida. Now, the reason for that is very simple that we have our own wars and our own battles here on a daily basis uh, with FWC. So much so that we had to have our own branch of US ARC. Now, I've been talking with US ARC Florida. Jeremy's been talking a lot with Phil Goss, who runs US ARC, um, on all of the topics that are happening. And it is very important that if you are an animal keeper, or you have birds, or you have anything other than dogs, cats, and farm animals, you need to support US ARC or US ARC Florida because this stuff is going to change the United States as we know it. Now, as most of you guys know, I am building a zoo. But if this stuff happens, it will all literally be for nothing. I mean, it's, it's such a pain at this point that 
it's like, why, why, especially for the people that don't support these particular organizations, like why do you even keep animals if you don't want to fight to keep those animals? I, I can go on and on and on about this. I really, I'm not going to. Again, there's so much happening uh, between dealing with stuff here in Florida, dealing with U.S. Fish and Wildlife, um, and you guys know me, I never have anything bad to say about any of them. Adjust, adjust. There we go. So I never have anything bad to say about any of them, but this is obviously a huge problem for everybody if this continues. So basically what they're proposing right now will pretty much reverse U.S. ARCs first win against them for the Lacey Act. So just make sure you guys pay attention. Again, do what Jeremy said, you know, email your senators, talk to people. I'm taking my steps forward to uh, talk to senators and, and the governor of Florida here. Um, so what can you do as an individual? Support US Arc Florida, support US Arc. You know, without you guys, we, li we lose these battles and you no longer get to keep your animals. Basically, with the world we live in, because we're constantly fighting people like PETA and all these other people that don't want us to have these animals. So, if you want to have animals, you want to keep your animals, not only is it good to keep your animals in the best shape you possibly can, but it might be illegal soon. So make sure you support US ARC. If you're in Florida and you want to support US ARC Florida, you do it. Donate a dollar, a dollar. Think about that. I mean, so I have a little over 80,000 subscribers. Do the math, that adds up. $80,000 if you donated a dollar. If you donate five, it adds up even more. So you guys, and I know this is a very weird video for me. I don't ever talk about this stuff, but there is a war coming when it comes to pet keepers and the Senate or the Senate or anything, be ready because it's going to happen. That's all I got for this one, guys. I'll see you guys later.